Well, I think all of us here know how important internal communication is, and this conference itself demonstrates that researchers are very interested in this topic. We know um, from the previous presentation that there's a huge amount of practitioner interest. Uh, it's so important because it actually underpins organisational effectiveness. Um, internal communication can contribute to positive internal relations uh, by enabling quality communication inside organisations. But there's a paradox around internal communication and that is that it also poses a threat to organisational effectiveness and a threat to positive internal relationships because poor communication is counterproductive. And if employees feel that internal communication is being conducted inappropriately, they won't accept organisational messages. It's a barrier to those, the, the, the success of those messages. And I, I was interested at, at the president of Slovenia, no less, was very interested in this topic of appropriateness. For him, it was the appropriateness of Twitter. So it, it, it's something that's obviously got some international concern about how we work out what is appropriate um, and what employees think are appropriate. So this uh, presentation summarises a qualitative study on um, employees' views of internal communication. And there's a, a lot of detail, obviously, uh, uh, I'll uh, um, leave you to read the detail in the paper. And I've picked out some key issues to talk about in this 10 minute slot. Um, one of the first things I thought would be useful, because there is uh, so many different views on internal communication, I thought it'd be useful to do what um, uh, Diane and others have talked about, and that is to just tell you how I've sorted the mess of internal communication theory for myself. And um, it, because of this multiple meanings of internal communication. And the, the little matrix on the slide there is one way of simplifying all internal communication within an organization um, uh, from uh, employee to employee communication, line manager com communication, to the box in red, which I'm particularly interested in, in this paper, which is internal corporate communication. My kind of view of internal corporate communication is summed up in that picture, and you can see that there's lots of goals in the four corners uh, around promoting communication, understanding of aims of an organisation, awareness of change in the environment, and promoting a sense of belonging. There's one-way arrows there going from the, the centre and there's also two-way arrows uh, to the four goals because I believe that these goals also reflect employees' needs, not just managers' needs. So there is a kind of two-way element here. Um, to achieve those aims, communication has got to be delivered in ways that, as I say, employees find appropriate. And that's a challenge for communication professionals. Um, the, the payoff, if this is, is done well, is a contribution to positive employee engagement. And employee engagement has already arisen in the discussion just before as an important issue. It's one of the reasons why we communicate within organisations. Um, the study itself is a qualitative study. Um, 64 people in an organisation responded to a call for opinions on a, a very simple issue. And that was um, the extent to which printed communications was appropriate for um, newsletters going to all employees in the organisation. It was 
conducted by somebody with responsibility for a, uh, uh, the environmental impact on the organisation. And it, the data set was subsequently made available to me. There were some interesting issues bubbled out of the qualitative analysis. And some of them were quite surprising. Um, some things I, I was looking for, really, from my understanding of the, the, the literature and medium theory was something that gave me some kind of new insight on the, the data analysis. Medium theory looks at the interplay between the media and the content of the media looks at other things like uh, controllability and distribution as well. Um, but the, the last of the questions there was the area where the perhaps most surprising results occurred, the idea about medium effects with uh, emotional effects. But just to give you a quick overview of the findings in general, um, at this preference hierarchy developed with electronic methods uh, uh, as the most preferred method. Something that was perhaps a little bit surprising given that it was a survey conducted electronically was that a number of the people wanted blended methods. They wanted the choice of media. They wanted the choice of electronic or uh, print methods. And there were some who were uh, passionate in that they wanted internal communication newsletters in uh, a printed method. As I say, perhaps the most interesting uh, outcome was this idea of the affect of, of um, com uh, internal communication. There was a surprising finding in that the communication, the act of communication, caused annoyance. Um, here's some illustrative comments. When we look back at the goals of internal communication, internal communication managers aren't wanting to annoy their employees. They're wanting to do those other things I talked about before. This amounts to, really, the more I look at it, is a kind of anger against the method of internal communication. It's perhaps a depressing finding. Um, internal communicators want to contribute to positive relationships. They don't want to uh, uh, produce a result which really amounts to contributions to disengagement in an organisation. key thing that came out of my one minute left is that um, practitioners need to focus on employee perceptions of internal communication rather than only management perceptions. And I think that there's a fruitful area for further research looking at this interrelationship between media and message. If perhaps we don't do that, there's a problem. As I said, uh, if, if the media is deemed inappropriate by employees, they are unlikely to accept the message. Um, and some of them may not even receive the message because they act as their own control mechanism and uh, don't pick up the newsletter, don't read the newsletter, the message doesn't get through. Thank you.